Ford announces a three-cylinder for the American market. The first Ferrari F12 sells for more than a million dollars, and East Coast car collectors gather after Sandy. I'm Andy, and this is a Tuesday edition of Auto Week TV. Let's get to it. All you Geo Metro owners who've been holding out for another three-cylinder car, get ready. Your wait is about to end. Ford has announced it will bring its turbocharged, direct-injected EcoBoost 1.0-liter three-cylinder to the U.S. next year in the 2014 Fiesta. Fuel efficiency is expected to be 40 miles per gallon or better, yet this little engine still turns out 123 horsepower and 148 foot-pounds of torque. We've driven a European Ford Focus with the 1.0-liter EcoBoost 3-cylinder, and the experience was surprisingly good. We expect it to be even more fun in the smaller Fiesta, and we'll bring you a complete road test as soon as we get our hands on one. The first Ferrari F12 Berlinetta available in the U.S. has gone for $1.125 million. If it's yours now, congratulations. The F12 was auctioned Sunday at the U.S. Grand Prix in Austin, with proceeds scheduled to benefit victims of Hurricane Sandy. Bidding started at $315,000 and went up quickly from there. We had a little competition of our own among our site commenters to see who could get closest to the final sales price. Turns out, we had a tie. Derek J. and Steve C. keep an eye out for some Auto Week swag coming your way. Speaking of Sandy, there are signs life on the East Coast is returning to normal, even among the collector car community. Last weekend, enthusiasts from all over New Jersey gathered at a Porsche, Rolls, and Bentley dealership in Parsippany to share war stories and engage in some much-needed camaraderie. It wasn't just exotics either. Several hundred cars got together, including Mustangs, DeLoreans, a 77 Camaro, and even a 1912 Ford. It's great to see enthusiasts pulling together in the face of a situation like this, and we wish everyone on the East Coast a continued speedy recovery. That's the news for today, but we're not done. Be sure to check out the related videos for more car news, reviews, and offbeat stories, including a BMW M6 used as a printing press. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, enjoy the drive. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.